G'day, Shedders. I came out to the shed looking for an axe. Well, I found one. Isn't she a beauty? I also found this empty bottle. So check this out. I'll show you my idea of recycling. If one thing is true, if I don't get my news, I get the shed TV blues. Nice acoustics in here. It's hard to believe it's November already. Time to be heading out in the great outdoors. Maybe try a little fly fishing. Our latest Shed Online activity looks at fly fishing. Find out what equipment you need, how to pick a good spot, and some of the finer points of fly fishing technique. Cast your eye over this activity. I think you'll like its angle. It really is quite alluring. You might even get hooked. Take a look and consider giving fly fishing a go. These days, there's an app for pretty much everything. If you own a smartphone or a computer tablet, you've probably become familiar with apps. That's short for applications. If you're a bit in the dark about this more recent development in the world of digital devices, you can get up to speed by looking at our activity from a little while back. It explains what apps are and how to source, install and make use of them. We want to know which apps you like. They might be useful, entertaining, informative or just a bit of fun. Go to the discussion section and recommend your favourite apps to other shedders. What's been your favourite for 2013? And while you're there, make a list of apps that sound like they're worth checking out. Hmm, sounds like a very useful activity. You could say it's quite apt. Take a look at our special new gardening activity presented by landscape architect Andrew Laidlaw. He shows us some of the features of the children's garden at the Royal Botanic Gardens Melbourne and offers advice on how to make your garden children friendly. If you've got grandkids, nephews or nieces, or young kids yourself, this activity will show you how you can create stimulating areas for creative play in your outdoor space. It's great stuff. Check it out for a little inspiration about what you could do. Life is full of changes. Some of these we plan, like, say, retirement, while others, such as redundancy or relationship breakdown, can easily catch us wrong-footed. Going through a period of transition can often bring its challenges and fair share of stress. In our Shed Online blog this month, you'll find an article that looks at how to manage transition into a new life stage. If you have a story about a change you've had to manage in your life, consider sharing it with our Shed community in our discussion section. There might be someone else out there who can benefit from hearing about your experience, how you coped and any insight that you might have gained. Let us know by posting in the Stories of Transition discussion. The discussion section is a really important part of the community here on the Shed Online. You'll find that there are blokes talking about a wide range of topics. Take a look. There's bound to be something that will interest you. Contribute to discussions yourself by signing up as a Shed Online member and join in on the conversation. Remember, the more, the merrier. At this time of year, you'll notice a lot more blokes walking around with hirsute top lips. Yes, it's moustache season, Movember. Each November, Movember raises vital funds and awareness for prostate and testicular cancer and mental health. Find out about what Movember is doing this year via the link below. And while you're there, Check out some mighty fine moustaches. The Australian Men's Shed Association's fifth national conference has just been held in Ballarat, Victoria, and the Shed Online was there. Take a look at our photos of the event. Shedders from all over Australia came to share information, make connections, and find out about resources available to men's sheds with the theme of the conference for this year being Men's Sheds, A Sustainable Future. Make sure you take a good look around the site. It's full of information and things to do, especially for blokes. The health and lifestyle section is a must read. We could all look after ourselves a little better, so take a look to get ideas about how you can improve your well-being. Don't forget the news and events pages, and if you're stuck for something to do, explore our activity section for a heap of hands-on how-tos. 
There's so much to do here on The Shed Online and it's always great to have you with us. I'm going to get back to my guitar playing now. Hmm, what are some good songs for singing in the shed? Perhaps, uh, if I had a hammer or, uh, I saw her standing there. Have a ripper November. Till next time, shedders.